Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing grace and book. And this morning, we will learn from the title, Blind Tom. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. It says, I know what you are doing. You work long and hard. Children, my grandmother used to say, No work, no eat. She respected hard work. What about your grandmother? Today, we have a story of a special horse that was recognized for his work. It was a big celebration. Dozens of important men and women had traveled to the top of Promontory Point, Yuda, to honor the completion of the first transcontinental railroad on May 10, 1869, and standing a bit out of place. In the middle of the crowd was Blind Tom. What kind of name is that? It was the name of a very special workhorse. Yes, a horse had been invited to the celebration, but not by the famous dignitaries. Instead, it was the man who'd work with Blind Tom building the railroad that wanted him there. Tom was just one of the 25,000 horses and mules that pulled supply wagons and hauled railroad ties, dirt, rocks to build the great iron road. But Tom worked hard with a handicap, making him a favorite. Blind Tom went to work in Omaha, Nebraska on the very first day of the railroad construction. Twenty-seven months later, he was still working. No one knew what caused his blindness, but it didn't interfere with his work. Every single day, he hauled the heavy flat car of iron rails and spikes to the iron man, the spikers, and the gandy dancers waiting at the end of the track. In fact, Blind Tom hauled every rail in the 1,100 miles of the Union Pacific Roadbed. No other horse helped him hold the rails. He is a great example of someone who kept at the job until his work was done. Children, what are your jobs? Do you have to make your bed, help wash the dishes, or take out the trash? Maybe your biggest job is doing your homework or babysitting younger brothers and sisters. No matter what your jobs are, take Blind Tom as your example. Do your work well. There will be a huge celebration for you when God welcomes you into His kingdom. This is the end of our morning worship. Children, praise the Lord. What a great lesson this morning from Tom, the blind horse. Tom who continues to work hard 
despite his disability. His blind eyes didn't interfere with his work. And this make him become the favorite horse. Children, then how about you? Do you also have some work to do today? If so, let's learn from Tom, a horse who is blind but always does his job well. Children, under any circumstances and whatever you have to do today, whether it's helping your parents at home or completing school assignments or other tasks, do everything well and responsibly. Remember that there will be a great celebration for you when the Lord welcomes you into His kingdom. Today, pray and ask God to help you be a good child and be responsible in all things. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen. The Bible tells